Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2023 Salem Hemisphere Model 270 FKS. This particular front kitchen travel trailer is going to come in at 8,079 pounds as we sit here equipped today and is going to be 33 feet 9 inches in overall length from hitch to rear wall. This is the first Salem Hemisphere travel trailer we've had in probably about three or four years. And man, I tell you, they have knocked this out of the park. This is going to have a new interior look. Pretty similar exterior look for the last couple of years. Uh, it's got two 15K ACs, a 200 watt solar package, outside kitchen, power stabilizer jacks, stackable washer dryer prep with a king bed in an under 35 foot travel trailer. Tons of storage, great uh, lighting, and you know, it's just nice, open, bright light. And uh, I think you're gonna really like this one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. So all right guys, we're on the inside of this 2023 Salem Hemisphere Model 270 FKS. And as you can see here, we are looking at this today in the Coronado interior decor, which is their new interior for 2023. So you can see they've got some dark accents around like your slide out and various assorted things. And the wood color has lightened up just a bit. You've got new flooring as well, which I really like. I think it, I think this interior is just very, very sharp. Um, it's light, but it's also kind of rustic um, as I like to call it anyway. So starting off in the slide out, um, we built this today as more of a couples only travel trailer. So we're looking at an optional piece of equipment here. This is the optional uh, theater seat. You can get this with a trifold sleeper sofa uh, if you did want to, to give you a little more guest sleeping capacity. Uh, this, in my opinion, is the correct way to build this trailer. But let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. And I like that they use the wider theater seat. And the, I tell you, these are super comfortable. Um, I think that you have some of the best theater seats in the industry, in my opinion. You've got a little um, remote storage there for cup holders. Now, these are not the heat massage uh, theater seats like a lot of other companies are using. But they're still super comfy, comfortable. Oh my gosh, I butchered comfortable. Comfortable, there we go. And... Uh, they're super nice. Now you can see you've got roll down blackout shades. All the windows in this trailer, except for that front windshield, do open for airflow, which is very nice. Now, the other thing we optioned in is the freestanding table and chairs. There is a booth dinette uh, option available if you did want that, which is very nice as well. Um, so I really do like that. Um, I'm not sure if I like the lighter tabletop. I don't know, it may grow on me the more I'm in this trailer. And then a big thing for 2023 is if we get down here, this is not carpet. This is that uh, woven indoor outdoor pontoon boat style uh, fabric. So these are completely carpetless now, which is super cool. I'm so glad they did that. Now I'll give you a look kind of at the front kitchen. I absolutely love that big front windshield. Now, this particular trailer is not super uh, good with campsite windows. You do have that nice big window that opens for airflow over there in the kitchen. But um, with the screen door open, or with the main door open and the screen door shut, there we go, um, it is a lot better. Now, if we take a seat at the theater seat, you can see you're directly across from the entertainment center and you've just got a jumbotron sized uh, TV there. You've got a new 
style reflective fireplace for 2023. Nice component shelf there too with a power outlet. So you can put a DVD player, gaming system, satellite box, whatever you want to do there. And then right here, you've got a Furion soundbar, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth. And it does have the HDMI and USB plugs. Now this TV is on a swing arm mount, as you can see there, so you can face it towards the kitchen if you did uh, need to or want to, which is always a good thing. And that is not a camera trick. These are, uh, they do have the super uh, crown ceiling, both on the interior and the exterior, which is very nice. It makes it feel a lot bigger in here. And it, man, it's just super tall. You've got a 15,000 BTU Coleman Q-Series air conditioner standard which is always a nice feature. They're a lot more quiet than say a Dometic or a Furion. One of the things you won't see in any hemisphere is in-floor ducted heat. So you've got cabinet ducted heat throughout. You've got your breakers and fuses down there too, by the way. But overall, this living and kitchen area for a front kitchen, it's super open and spacious. Um, it is definitely on my short list for my uh, top five uh, of the travel trailers we've gotten in this, this year so far. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead now and let's take a look at the kitchen area. Because I'll tell you, front kitchens, they've got storage galorage. Okay guys, so starting off in the front kitchen area, you've got just a huge amount of countertop space and that is one of the things that front kitchens are very, very good at. And I love the fact that this is all one level. There's some out there on the market where they kind of drop down and raise back up in, in places. Not just, you know, it, it takes away some of your potential countertop space. Now up here, Again, there's that front windshield. You do have a pleated nightshade on that too, by the way. High-rise faucet with the large farm-style sink. Drying rack right there. You've got household and USB outlets right there. Perfect space for a coffee maker. And you've got a matching set over here, which is very nice. And I like that they're easy to get to. Now up here, you've got great cabinetry space in this front kitchen area. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry. Actually, I take that back. Is it? It is not. Okay, that must be just in the fifth wheels. Um, so I apologize. Um, like I said earlier, this has been a while since we've had a hemisphere travel trailer. Um, so good storage up there. I love the fact that they are strut supported here. That is a very nice touch. It goes all the way back into that corner too, which is real nice. Great shelf space over here. You've got uh, good cabinets. I like the glass inserts there, and I like that they're frosted as well. Okay. Um, you've got your microwave and hood range combo right there. Down here, you've got your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Up and down below in case you want to do some baking. It is the small 17 inch oven though. You've got one of those pull out spice racks, which is always a neat feature. Um, and just so you can see it, that is not all the way. It does pull out like this. Little pull out pantry, I absolutely love that. Great space for a waste basket. That, that is just a really, really smart thing that they did there. You've also got some more space there. And then three full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers. Notice the bottom two, they're a little bit deeper than the top one, which is nice for some of those flatware and things of that sort. And then over here, you've got your Evertil, Evertil, Ever Chill, there we go, 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. These things are awesome. They cool down in about an hour and a half and uh, the other nice thing is they will run off your battery and the solar panel that is up on the roof recharges your battery. Your pickup truck is going to do the same thing uh, if you're pulling this down the road. And uh, these are just great. They're super travel safe, meaning you don't have to run propane, which in a lot of states you actually can't do anymore either. 
So I absolutely love that. That is the standard fridge. That's basically what you get. And then right here, you've got this massive pantry. Now, one of the neat things about this, these shelves are fully removable, which I personally really like. I would have liked to see maybe a hanging rod across that so you could use this more as a coat closet if you did want to. So great space there. Uh, down in here is where your water heater is. So uh, that's where you will bypass your water heater for winterization. And I like this easy to get to. So many times uh, they are not easy to get to. And then right in here, you've got your control panel with your awning and slide out controls, water pump, water heater and on gas. And then as you can see there, you've got tank heaters. So these have 12 volt heat pads on all the holding tanks. Uh, which is really cool. And then you've got your lighting controls and your tank monitoring panel. Plus you've got some coat hooks right by the entry door, which is always very nice. So that, guys, is going to wrap it up for the living and kitchen area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom. And I tell you, for a front kitchen, this bathroom does not suck whatsoever. You're going to like this. So as we step into the bathroom, right here is going to be your Dometic, or nope, Coleman, excuse me. Um, I've been messing around with Dometic ACs all day before this, so that's probably where I'm getting that from. Coleman uh, digital thermostat, that's a very nice uh, thing to have. So you've got a pocket door here that can close this off from the main living area. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. And uh, in here, you've got your Neo Angle shower which is very nice. You can be upwards of 6'4 and still shower in here comfortably. And it's a very good placement of that skylight. Uh, that way the taller folks can be right underneath the shower stream. Now over here, you've got your medicine cabinet. Great storage there with a mirror. So you get to look at my goofy face. Now, right here, you've got your uh, decent sized sink with thermal foil press membrane countertops. Um, little bit of storage and plumbing access down below. And I find it funny that the toilet paper holder is there and the GFI protected outlet is right underneath it. I am, I'm not sure if I'd like that outlet placement. It works, but uh, I'm not sure if I like it personally. And then right here, you can see that you've got decent linen cabinet space right there. So this is a very, very good bathroom. Um, one of the things that I thought was kind of cool is you can set this fan up. So if I hit this, um, this will turn it on. But you'll notice when I turn off the light, that stops as well. So they have it wired into the light switch, which is pretty cool. You've also got a couple of towel hooks right there. Um, not sure if I like that where that is, but that's where they put them. It is what it is. So real quick, I'm gonna turn that off since I'm leaving these lights on. That way it is not driving me absolutely crazy. Now, before we go into the bedroom, I do want to point out this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you've got two entries into the bedroom, two entries, two entries into the bathroom. So without further ado, let's go ahead now and take a look at the bedroom space. So coming out of the bathroom into the bedroom, first thing I want to show you is you do have a king bed in this travel trailer. Now this is what they call a custom king. So it's really close to uh, an Olympic queen. It's 66 wide by 80 inches long. Um, so I just wanna go ahead and point that out so that you're aware. You've also got little side stands on both sides of the bed. Interestingly, no household outlets or anything like that. That uh, seems like kind of a miss to me. Now, one of the things that is not a miss is this underbed storage. Now, I'll show you that you can get to uh, it from the outside as well, which is very nice. You've got cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed, and you'll notice this is a super deep slide based on how deep those or how big those windows are width wise. Now, back here, you do have a second. 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner back here. Now it does have ceiling controls. It is not ducted, but at least it does have the second AC. I love those two little vertical windows there. Second, excuse me, entry door. And then you've got four 
drawers, two small ones, two big ones, press membrane, thermal foil style countertops, and you've got a neat little laundry chute here, which is really cool. Now, I think the star of the show back here in the bedroom is going to be this. There we go. Trying to get that motion light to kick on. Finally decided to. Is this giant closet. This is awesome for an under 35 foot travel trailer to have this much closet space. And you can see that it goes way back there. Um, which is very nice. And I like these doors. They kind of have the simulated, uh, I don't know what material you would call that. But the other thing that's really cool on this, apparently I just knocked, locked, knocked a light cover off. I'll put that back on here in just a moment, is you've got another closet over here, but with stackable washer dryer prep in a travel trailer this is so cool you just don't see this and that's one of the reasons why i specifically ordered this one because it has washer dryer prep and so many people ask for travel trailers with this particular feature in it it is incredibly difficult to find unless you're looking at like a 40 foot bumper pull or a park model and you know this is something you could put a stackable washer dryer in and still tow reasonably well with a three quarter ton gas pickup. It's just amazing what all they packed into this. And it, like I said, it's one of my personal favorite travel trailers. But real quick, before we jump onto the outside, let's go ahead and close these slide outs and look at it in road mode. Okay guys, so with the slide outs closed, as you can see, you can come in here, you can get to your pantry space. Now, you're not getting through there uh, from the front door, but you can get to the theater seats. You can get to the dinette, you know, to sit down and have a snack or lunch or something. You can get to most of the kitchen space. Now, you're not getting to those drawers back there or this particular cabinet, but you can get to the rest of it, which is very nice, including your stove, microwave. You can get to all of the refrigerator which is, again, really nice. Same thing with the freezer. And of course, you can get, like I said, to your dinette. Now, as we, if we're talking about the bathroom, if we hop outside real quick, and we go in the rear entry door, you can see you can get to the bed, and it's fully usable in transit. So if you need to stop and take a quick nap in a place where you can't extend the slide outs you can easily do that and you can also get to the bathroom which is very nice so this one is best used at a destination but it's got some really good travel access all right guys we're on the outside of this 2023 salem hemisphere 270 fks so as we start up front here You've got the automotive grade front windshield, LED light strips on both sides of that. That's just a very good look. I really do like that. Power front tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks. And then you've got your factory supplied battery that's part of the 200 watt solar package, which is a 200 watt panel up on the roof already installed. You've got a 30 amp charge controller that I'll show you here in just a little bit. And it comes with the battery. Now, as we come over here, you can see that you've got an outside kitchen. So you've got an outside mini refrigerator, a propane griddle, and you do have the propane quick connect down there, power stabilizer jacks as well, and you've got a quick uh, connect uh, spray port right there as well. Now, this will be your furnace intake and exhaust. And the wind's actually cooperating today, so I was able to put out this very large power awning. Notice that it covers both entry doors very easily. So if it's raining and you're coming in and out, you're not gonna get spritzed in the face or anything. These are all friction hinge doors. The front uh, door does have the larger entry assist handle. Both of them are gonna have the more ride step above steps. 
I noticed that this one is a little bit wider than the back one. You've got your shaded pet tether, six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. Outside TV bracket so the TV in the living room can dismount and come out here with the cable and power for that as well. You've also got two outside speakers and LED light strips in that awning. I would prefer if those outside speakers were mounted a little bit lower myself, just so you don't have to turn it all the way up to be able to uh, hear it. You've got your rear power stabilizer jack controls, a huge amount of pass-through storage, as you can see there, and that's all aluminum cage construction on this whole trailer. Now, if we drop down underneath, you can see that this has the enclosed four stair heated underbelly which is very nice is that okay this is not the accessibility uh that they were using for 2022 so i did notice that change that could just be a supply error or a supply issue excuse me you've got your square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky spare tire spare tire carrier now the one we are looking at today has the roof letter that is going to be changing they will be having the Lippert uh, on-the-go portable collapsible ladder prep uh, here shortly. Again, this ladder is not going to be there for the rest of 2023 on duplicates that we may get. Uh, so I just want to make that out there. Or if you're looking at other places, um, you may see it one ones with this ladder. You may see ones without it. You've got your outside shower here, fresh water connection city water connection and black tank flush easy to get to right there and you've got your cable and power outlet right there you do have magnetic holdbacks on 90 percent of your entry doors slam latches on these two back here as well all led tail end marker lights and you've got backup camera prep up there as well now right here is going to be your 50 amp service Over here, you've got two slide outs. They do have, or they are prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers from LCI. And then right here, you've got a little more storage from under the bed, which is very easy to access. Great looking wheels and tires. And this uh, product uses the spread axle system. Uh, I call them wide stance axles. And it kind of keeps the trailer from porpoising up and down uh, from front to back. Max tent safety glass windows. And then, I almost forgot. So you, since this is a front kitchen, you are going to have two gray tanks. So you, you've got a dump in front of the axles for the kitchen area. And then if we look back here, you are going to have a second dump uh, for the washer dryer connections and the bathroom for the gray and black tanks. So uh, just so you know, you do have split dumps. They're both under slide outs, unfortunately. Not everybody is super uh, happy about that, but they had to do that in this case for this particular floor plan. Lastly, as we come up here, you do have another small little compartment here, perfect for some uh, tools or things like that. If we get the camera in here, which it's kind of hard to, uh, you've got your 30 amp charge controller, your battery disconnect, the switch for those cap lights and a little light here so you can check your uh, solar and battery condition right there. So, all right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the 2023 Salem Hemisphere model 270 FKS. If you're interested in this gorgeous front kitchen travel trailer and you have any questions or if you'd like pricing and availability, I will post a link as soon as we get our new website up and running uh, where you can check pricing and, avail and availability at any time. In the meantime, I'll post a link to our RVT site where you can check the price on this particular one as soon as I get it up there here this afternoon. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com with any questions uh, that you may have or if you're interested in purchasing this. If you want to work with me directly, again, my name is Corey. I am the sales manager here. You can call me or text me anytime with any questions, comments, or if you'd like purchase details and information at 
382-6274. If you could do me a favor, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. And please do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. That really helps us uh, with the YouTube algorithm and it helps promote videos to other RV enthusiasts and buyers like yourself. Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees and we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. All right, guys, without further ado, that's going to wrap it up. We hope that you enjoyed. We thank you very much for watching. We hope to hear from you or see you out on our lot very soon and have a wonderful rest of your day.